Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today we are going to go over the installation of a new product that we just came out with. Uh, this one is for the Beretta APX um, Strager fired pistol. And this is the pistol that Beretta submitted for the Army trials. And uh, I gotta say, it's a very impressive little gun. Um, probably the shortest pull on the market in a striker fire gun right now. All right, um, so let's go ahead and go over tools we're gonna need. You're gonna need your .50 Allen wrench. You're gonna need small flat head screwdriver. You're gonna need your straight pick or one sixteenth punch if you don't have a straight pick. Uh, and that's it, that's all we're gonna need. So let's lock and clear the pistol. We are visually and physically empty. Drop mag, set it off to the side. <clears throat> now to go back to the trigger, all right? The reason that we came out with the stainless steel striker guide with a reduced power striker spring is everybody's loving the short pull on these, but it has a very definite hard wall. Now you can see we've marked it, and that's showing how much pre-travel you got. And right there, as soon as the safety's in, it's staged. It's on the wall. And that's all the over-travel you have. Incredibly short reset, but what a lot of people have a dislike about is when you hit right here and you got that wall, you're getting like a seven pound pull is what it feels like. All right, so we're going to eliminate that with our striker guide and striker spring. So let's go ahead and rack it. Now, bread APX is a little bit different in how it breaks down. You're actually going to push the takedown out at first. Like so, then turn it down. Pull the trigger, and you can release the slide from the frame. Uh, anyone who's familiar with Beretta Nano, when you look down inside this thing, it is essentially a Nano on steroids. Uh, it's very obvious they got a lot of design elements from it, which is good because that is a very simplistic gun that works very well. Uh, this works very well also. Um, but what I want to touch on is the takedown. All right, now don't try and shove it back in. This is purposely designed this way, and the takedown easily comes out. So make sure that you have it just like that so it doesn't come out, and then you go, oh, well, how do I get it back in? If you do manage to accidentally pull it out, all right, you'll notice you got this cutout right here and this cutout here. Cut out on the right side is what goes onto this square notch that's inside the takedown. So if it comes out, you're going to start, flat aside, put it in, it's going to go over, and push and turn down, and it's locked back in place. Alright, so that's all we need the frame for. So let's go ahead and disassemble our slide. Uh, this is our stainless steel guide rod. This is actually the 22 pound uh, spring on here. So be expecting a video here shortly of guide rod testing from the stock 17 pound rate up to the 22 pound rate. Uh, which this thing with 115 grain ammo, even with a 22 pound spring, is just dialed right in. You're not going to have issues. So we're going to take our guide rod and our uh, barrel out set them aside all right now we're gonna go ahead and remove our striker guide all right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is stand the slide up and down so you can see right here you've got your extractor pin pushing on the back plate so we're gonna push that down first I'm gonna slide it out to that point all right now, you can see the striker guide's impeding it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our .50 Allen wrench, which fits perfectly in this hole. And we're gonna compress the striker guide and slide at the same time. Now, if it doesn't wanna do what you want it to do, take your flathead screwdriver, come in from the rear, and you can do the same thing. All right. So we're gonna pop off the back plate. We're gonna take out our striker guide, all right. Now, this unit actually does come apart. Uh, Beretta designed it that way. It's hard to make out, but you'll see two flattened sides on the striker guide. 
because they wanted this to be uh, easily interchangeable with different spring rates. Um, but no matter what spring rate you go to, you still get that wall. All right, so we're done with this. We're gonna set it off to the side. We're not gonna pull the extractor completely apart, but if for some reason you manage to dump it all out on accident, on purpose, accidentally on purpose, whatever, and it starts to, uh, or it does come out and you don't know how it goes back together, we're gonna show you real quick. All right, so if your extractor comes out while you're doing this, you've got your extractor itself that's going to go down inside. You've got your short pin goes in first, spring. Now your long pin is going to go in rounded side first, half moon out. Because when you put your back plate back on, the half moon cutout is where it locks into place on the back plate. All right. So if that has come out though, you've probably had your safety come or your blocker come out. We're going to go ahead and reinstall it, making sure that obviously the rounded side goes to the outside. Because now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop in our spring and our last extractor pin. Now everything's going to hang out hunky-dory and be super happy fun go time. Alright. Next, you'll put your fire and pin, or correction, your striker back in. And that's how you can test if it's working correctly. You're going to push on it. It's going to stop right there. You push down on the blocker. It lets the striker go forward. All right, so now we're going to take our new assembly. Make sure your spring's on there. Open end. Goes in first. All right. And compress and stick our back plate on. Make sure that this is turned at the proper angle. We're going to take our flat or our straight pick. Push it in, push the back plate on, and you're going to hear a click. You'll get a click from the extractor pin, but you'll also get a click from the striker guide itself locking into place. Now, again, we'll check it one last time. All right. Striker's not moving. Striker moves. Okay. So go ahead and put our barrel, our guide rod back in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall on the frame. Much like the Nano, for the most part, this thing is going to lock its takedown back in on its own as soon as you put the slide on. So if it doesn't all the way, just give it that little click and it's gonna go. Now we're gonna function test. So first thing we're gonna do is pull the trigger, rack the slide at the rear, release, get a reset, trigger falls. Rack the slide without placing your finger on the trigger safety and pull the trigger trigger does not fall safety's working boom so as you can see the wall is much less all right and you now have right at about a five pound trigger so this is going to make a huge difference in this pistol. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be incredibly happy uh, with their APX, uh, the way this comes out at the end of it. Uh, once I figure out what I may have done with the trigger gauge, uh, when we do the uh, full video of shooting and everything, we'll go ahead and get a trigger pull count or trigger pull weight correction. Sorry. Trying not to hiccup into the microphone here in everybody's ear. Um, it makes a huge difference, guys. I mean, this is already a great pistol. 
very flat shooter, very low bore height. So, I mean, it's, it's a very impressive pistol. I like it a lot. It may end up becoming part of, uh, part of the collection in the future. Um, along with that, we've got new parts that are going to be rolling out here shortly, uh, for the XDE and some other things. So be on the lookout for those. If you've got any questions over anything we just covered, uh, feel free to email me at tech and that's tango echo charlie hotel at gallowayprecision.com be sure to follow us on social media to keep up to date with uh, everything that we're doing and to check out our day-to-day -day work uh, that we do on pistols uh, so here on youtube be sure to like comment and subscribe below uh, be sure to follow us on facebook instagram and twitter uh, if you haven't done so already, be sure to go to the website or our Facebook page and sign up for our monthly newsletter. I uh, send out a newsletter on the first of every month, gives you an idea of new products that are on the web page, new things that are happening on the website, and uh, our monthly sale that we just started doing. Uh, every month we're putting one item on sale for that entire month. Uh, the only way you're going to know about it is if you get our newsletter. All right. Um, and I think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up, guys. Um, like I said, new products on the way uh, for the APX, which we've got the striker guide and the guide rod. There's going to be some other things in the works. Uh, be on the lookout for XDE parts coming soon. Uh, more high point parts for the carbines and the JHP pistols. And uh, some new holsters for uh, some other guns that uh, I've been working on. So that's going to wrap this one up. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.